Should plasma cytomas be biopsied and tested genetically? This is a clinical question. I guess I would make the argument that wherever the plasma cell is proliferating, and if it's proliferating at different locations, so you've got a bone marrow where there's plasma cells, but now if you have a solid tumor like a plasma cytoma, I would still argue that you want to test that particular site because there's no assurance that the plasma cytoma has all of the same genetic mutations and variations as the tumor that's in the bone marrow. The word plasma cytoma has many um, connotations. So the more imaging we do, the more we realize that myeloma is a lumpy, bumpy disease. A lot of patients have solid foci of disease in the bone, bone marrow. We call them focal lesions. A plasma cytoma tends to imply a lesion at a specific site that's grown to form a tumor and often there's a differential diagnosis problem. So is it myeloma? Is it a plasma cytoma? Is it a sarcoma? Or is it another type of metastasis to bone? You need to have the biopsy to see the plasma cells, characterize them to know what you're dealing with because it turns out plasma cytomas are quite sensitive to radiation. And so you could be internally fixed, irradiated, stabilized, and then you can get on and treat the rest of the disease throughout your body. Some people have isolated plasma cytomas, and if they're small and you do an MRD test somewhere else in the body and there's no cells there, maybe you could just get away with treating it locally. The question that comes up is whether one should biopsy a plasma cytoma in a person who has a history of, of, of multiple myeloma. And, and there's two aspects to this. There's the academic aspect. We know that there could be genetic differences in that plasma cytoma that may not be present in the remainder of the cells in the bone marrow. But one challenge to that is that uh, even if you do that, what if you biopsy in a site that doesn't have that change? Were you to biopsy 10 times or were you better off maybe getting more and more samples or even sampling more plasma cytomas? So I think practically, it's not that important unless something happens that the patient is not responding to the treatment. So in my practice, I don't do repeat biopsies of plasma cytomas often unless something is happening that makes us worry that uh, we're not seeing the expected behavior. And that could be either growth of the plasma cytoma because somehow it's being refractory to the, to the drugs being used. And that is possible because sometimes plasma cytomas may be um, areas with slightly more advanced myeloma cells, more clonally advanced. Um, we can sometimes see, and I've seen a, a, a few times in my practice too, that the plasma cytomas, they can start depositing proteins, amyloid-like proteins, and they may grow them, even have symptoms and pain because of this. So, so that may be another reason why something may not go in the direction we, we think it should be going. Um, and um, we can sometimes use plasma cytomas also to gauge response to treatment. So we have a person who has multiple plasma cytomas and we start therapy, uh, it's something visual that we can see that the medications are working.